stepping outside the liver domain, patients with NASH are at increased all-cause mortality and predominantly cardiovascular-related morbidity and mortality. Um, not to mention patients with benign simple steatosis are at increased risk for the incidence, heightened risk for incidence of new onset diabetes mellitus. So NASH is a risk factor for liver failure, cardiometabolic problems, new incident diabetes, and ultimately increased risk for death. The concern is of patients with NASH, the leading cause for morbidity and mortality is cardiovascular disease followed by non-liver related cancers, all cause cancers, and ultimately progression to cirrhosis um, and complications thereof. This is data that came from a former colleague of mine, Paul Angulo, uh, when he was at the Mayo Clinic and uh, evaluated the Olmsted County database. And ultimately what we're seeing over the past, you know, not even a little over a decade, the cause for need for liver transplant for NASH is incrementally rising compared to other, all other forms of chronic liver disease. And what I can anticipate we would see is the need for transplantation for hepatitis C in the upcoming years will actually decline uh, in the era of new therapies. So GenFit scientifically addresses the disease through its a global approach providing uh, features of both histologic improvement in the liver and cardiometabolic protection. So addressing two lead cause of potential morbidity and mortality in this cohort. And even C-reactive protein. So both the FDA and the AASLD have recommended that it is imperative that any drug that be developed for NASH be at least neutral from cardio, uh, cardiometabolic risk. As I mentioned, as a, a treating physician, I treat many thousands of patients with NASH. Most of my patients don't die of their liver disease. They die of their cardiovascular disease. And heaven forbid I put a patient on a medication that will potentially increase their cardiovascular risk. Uh, I don't need to be treating their liver disease only to have them subsequently die of a heart attack. So it's imperative that any therapy for NASH really ad improve and advance their total uh, uh, clinical outcomes, both from a liver-related standpoint and a cardiovascular-related standpoint. And as we could see, the alfibrinor arm markedly improved triglycerides, total cholesterol, uh, uh, non-HDL cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and actually even caused an improvement in HDL cholesterol, suggesting that it may have very favorable cardiometabolic profile.